So, hi, I'm Emma Smith. I'm the uh, Media Services Development Manager at JISC. I presume that most people know what JISC is. Everyone seems to. Um, so I'm from the JISC Technologies Directorate along with my colleague Tim, who we'll be talking a little bit later. Um, that's basically, uh, we look after the Janet network that you probably, I don't know if anyone knows or many people know about, but it's a uh, national network that you're all connected to. Um, so my presentation today, I just wanted to ha just ha do a little bit of an overview um, of some of the technologies that are available. I know some of the presentations a bit later will go into a bit more detail about some of the technologies. So I thought we'd start off the uh, start the ball rolling, start <coughs> getting people a bit more um, a bit thinking about what's available out there. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about technology and then give a few examples some of the demonstrations that we've been involved in or we know others that have been involved in uh, to start you thinking about what's what possibly you could do. So just get taking a step back and thinking about the requirements for technology, um, the bandwidth that you could you that you need varies differently depending on the technology that you need. So you could have something from a few megabits all the way up to about 10 gigabits plus. It really depends on your requirement and what exactly you need. I know some of the uh, talks a little bit later, they'll probably go into the details about what uh, bandwidth requirements that they had, but there are massive differences between the two. And in terms of latency, it really again, it really depends on your requirements. Um, you can have something that's about, hun about 150 milliseconds for distance learning and collaboration. If you're having a theatre performance, for example, um, or somebody talking, then you don't need um, to reduce the latency so much. Whereas if you've got something that is perhaps a musical performance, you want people playing together, you've got to try and bring the latency down as much as possible. So you need something that's around 75 milliseconds round trip or less, depending on the music, the performance, etc., etc. There's lots of different requirements that you'll need. So I'll just go over a, a few of the different technologies that are out there that might be something that you're interested in. These are just a few of the different technologies that you might be using. We have at JISC we have a community website that we put lots of information about some of these technologies, some of the performances that have been involved. The idea of this community site is that everyone can sign up and you can put information about what you're doing, try and find out what other people are doing. It's supposed to be quite collaborative. So the first one I wanted to talk about was uh, Polycom Music Mode. Now, you've probably all, he all heard of Polycom. It's a video conferencing technology. Um, most of the time, it's just used for video conferencing, um, video conferencing meetings, talking to each other. But a couple of years ago, the Manhattan School of Music spoke to Polycom and said, we want to be able to use this for teaching and learning but the music quality isn't particularly great on this. What can you do? So they started to collaborate together and they came up with something called Music Mode, which is uh, a very proprietary piece of software that they've put on top of their, their hardware, their codecs. A couple of years ago, they spoke to them and said, well, we want to be able to use a software version of this. Can you help us with this? And they came up with the Real Presence desktop version. So you d no longer have to go and buy the hardware system that you have to plug in and then have to wheel around if you want to use it. You can just put it on your, on your desktop and use it as and when you like. The audio quality is about CD quality, so it's quite good for uh, teaching and learning. It's quite a good quality. You only need about four to eight meg megabits, so if you're somewhere that doesn't have huge bandwidth, it's quite useful for that. And it removes things like the automatic gain, noise fill, noise suppression. These are all things that are, are great if you're speaking to someone over video conferencing, but not so great if you're using music. So it removes all of those sorts of things and allows you to play, um, play to a teacher at somewhere else um, and is great for teaching and learning. Another system, another video conferencing system is VisiMeet. Now again, this was mainly created for people to be able to uh, just talk, have video conferencing, virtual meetings. But again, so, um, another group of people decided that they want to be able to use this for performance. How can they use it? So they started experimenting with it. This, ag again, is a, uh, a video conferencing 
a software solution, so you can just download it. Uh, you can have a free version, or you can pay for an upgraded version where you can have up to four to eight camera inputs from one institution. So you can have a, a screen that has multiple different um, uh, video inputs, depending on what your, um, your project is. And you can have as little as two meg to be able to use this. So again, it opens up quite a lot to be able to use technology for these sorts of things. Um, I just want to show this picture. This is um, a demonstration of using BusyMeet. This is a project between Edinburgh Napier University, Liverpool John Moores University, and uh, Nova Southeastern um, University in Florida. So what they had was um, musicians in Edinburgh. So I don't know if you can see at the top, we've got four different screens. That's all the musicians playing together. Then you had dancers from Liverpool John Moores and dancers from Florida and they were all performing together and then we had audiences at each location. Another piece of technology that you could potentially use is uh, Conference XP and this is a free open, soft uh, open source video platform. Again, it was created for um, just virtual meetings but again, it had really good audio quality so people decided that this was a really good thing for teaching and learning, especially in the music side. There is an option that you can compress the video or you can leave it um, quite, uh, you can leave it slightly uncompressed. Um, it's got quite good quality audio and video um, and you can use whatever kind of hardware that you want because it's open source. Just going through the, the, the rest of the list, UltraGrid is another one. Now this one was created by the Czech Republic um, by an organisation called CESNET, who are our counterparts, the National Research and Education Network in the Czech Republic. This is a software um, that can be used on anything from Linux, Windows, Mac OS X. Um, you can use any hardware that you want for this, so you can just plug in a couple of different cameras. It's command line driven, so it doesn't have the nice interface on top of it. But if you're okay with command lines, then this could be something for you. You can have high quality video up to 8K on this. They have demonstrated it with 8K. So you've got quite a lot to play with. Um, and the bandwidth that you need for this. So if you have something that's compressed HD, you can have something about 22 megabits. So it's quite small, all the way up to about three and a half gig. So it really depends on your network capacity for this. Another one that came from uh, CESNET is the 4K gateway. Now this is a hardware system, so it's slightly different. Um, again, this has been used for many things from 3D HD all the way up to 8K. Um, there's about less than two milliseconds latency on the hardware, and then obviously every piece of equipment that you plug in and the network adds to the latency. But as you can see, you, this you can actually use to play together simultaneously. So it's not just about teaching and learning. And you can use it up to 16, 16 channels of audio for this. Uh, and lastly, this is one that I think a couple of the others are going to be talking about a little bit later, so I just wanted to give a slight overview and then leave them to put a bit more detail, is Lola. Now, this was created by GAR, which is the Italian Research and Education Network, along with a conservatoire who had um, a need to be able to play together simultaneously. Um, you can have anything from 20 meg upwards to about a 2 gig connection if you're using uncompressed HD at 60 frames a second. We usually recommend to most people they have about a gig network for this, and that's usually sufficient to be able to play together. Um, it's multi-channel audio, uh, about 5 milliseconds of latency, but again, that depends on the, your network capacity and how far away you are from people. The... Um, the Lola team have done an awful lot of research into the specific hardware that you need to be able to use this in order to try and keep the latency as low as possible. So there is um, very specific equipment that they recommend. But we do have some loan equipment. So if anyone wanted to try this, you can always come to us and we've got some hardware that we loan out to people to use. And you can try it and see how you like it. And then if you want to use it, then you can invest in the hardware yourself. So far, Lola's been about two endpoints being able to play together but they have a beta system which has three endpoints to be able to play together. So it opens it up a little bit more. 
So that's just a bit of a whiz through some of the technologies that are out there. And I know some others are going to be talking about other things that they've been working on. So I wanted to have just a few examples of things um, that we've been involved in. Um, a couple of years ago, we uh, were involved in um, an event that was celebrating at Carabnet, which is the Caribbean's um, research and education network. They, they're only a couple of years old, this, this network, and they were launching it, and they wanted to host um, an event at the um, University of Trinidad and Tobago, but they wanted to show the fact that they've got this really nice network and they can go and speak to anyone across the world. So they had um, a musical event with lots of steel pans. They were had um, a lady that was at our offices um, in Didcot, which is South Oxfordshire, talking about steel pans and the um, teaching and learning that she does throughout the UK. She goes to <coughs> other people's um, universities and talks a lot about this and gets them to play and teaches them. Um, and they also um, linked up to someone at Northern Illinois <coughs> University who not only spoke a little, about, little bit about what they were doing, but also got to play some of the instrument to the audience. Uh, and this was using conference XP. So you can see you can have lots of different windows, lots of different um, inputs, um, and be able to show lots of different locations. Um, another one, um, a couple of years ago, we hosted an event at the Royal College of Music, similar to this kind of workshop. We talked a little bit about what we were doing, others spoke about projects that they were doing. We did some demonstrations there. One of the demonstrations um, was from the was from students at the Royal College of Music. Every year they are involved in a project that's um, they have to put together um, a some sort of demonstration that uses different technologies. Um, and they came up with something called the Infinite Bridge. Now we use this as our evening um, demonstration. They had um, a mixture of music and theatre, graphic d design. Um, a bit of dance involved as well. Um, they had links up with Helsinki. They had some uh, musicians from there, some musicians from, from Edinburgh, and some dancers from Barcelona. So it was all part of this um, this evening entertainment, this this uh, theatre piece. Um, and as some of the demonstrations that we have done in the past kind of highlights the technology, the idea behind this was to try and hide it. So you didn't realise that these um, link-ups were from Barcelona or from Helsinki, and then they explained a little bit about it afterwards. Now this, as I said, was a couple of years ago, and the students after this event wanted to see what could they possibly do afterwards, how could they take what they'd learned from that and maybe do another demonstration the following year. So at another workshop, they took what they'd learned and um, did another another performance. This one was just using Lola. So you can see on the tiny little screen that they've kind of hooked up with another musician. And this um, was actually in Miami this year. Uh, another demonstration which was using Lola, um, I don't know if Lil Jill's got a video of this one. Um, this was um, the launch of Janet 6, which, which is the current iteration of the Janet network. Um, we had a big launch event and we had students from the Royal College of Music and a musician um, that was based in Edinburgh Napier University um, and they decided to, to play together. Um, I was saying to Jill, I had a nice video of um, the, the musician, Sean. He really didn't believe this was going to work. I think he got involved because he wanted to prove that it didn't work, this, this Lola. Um, so the first time that they actually got to play together, um, just his, his face, and I think, shock and awe of this. This actually does work. I can't believe this actually works. And I had this really lovely video and I couldn't find it, unfortunately. Um, and finally, another... Um, demonstration did again this was using Lola this was a couple of years ago um, I don't know if you can see this gentleman right on the left actually is in Edinburgh Napier University um, and these musicians are in Maastricht in the Netherlands and they were playing together we tried to make it look like they were at least on the stage together so we started thinking about well what's the background color what what should we put in the background how do we present him on stage to make him look at least quite lifelike so we stood there with him So that was just a kind of a bit of a run through of some of the um, demonstrations that we've been involved in. 
this I wanted to put up to show that there are people all over the world who are looking at technology and performing arts. And they're all looking for people to collaborate with. And this is just a handful of people. There are loads of people out there that we don't know about or um, have started using it since I've actually put this slide up. <laughs> so if you're looking for someone that's perhaps on a different continent or even just in the UK, you know, come and speak to us, come and get information from the guys that are in the room. We speak to a lot of national research and education networks all across the world, so we can help if that's useful to go and s uh, see if we can find someone in another country for you. Um, and uh, just a bit of information, we've got an um, arts and humanities special interest group here in the UK. Anyone is invited to, to be part of this. We meet um, usually once a year. We had one earlier this year. Um, and the idea of it is that everyone comes together, talks a bit about what they're doing, what they want to do, and we try and encourage collaboration between the group. And just to kind of finish off, there's a, um, a workshop that happens every year. And if you're interested in this area, we definitely recommend going to this. I know some of the people in the room have been to this workshop. It alternates every year between Miami, which is where this picture's from, um, and somewhere in Europe. A couple of years ago, we hosted it in the UK at the Royal College of Music. Next year, it will be in Copenhagen. So it's not that far to go. But it's a great workshop, and you go and see demonstrations, you're going to meet new people that are interested in this area, that want to collaborate. Definitely recommend going across to this. And that's it. That's just a little bit of a run-through of um, some of the things that we've been doing.